Yes, sir, and have a Memorial Day to those who are here, and we welcome you as we are still live on the tour. The contest is scheduled for one fall, making our way to the ring, representing the core from Brooklyn, New York, one half of the ring stampede wrestling and women's tag team champions, the bombshells, Sarah. And yes, I probably know wondering why the hell am I streaming early? Well, that's because I got my work cut out early, so. <laughs> but yes, I am here and we are doing our SW Glow. Thank you guys so much for joining me in the chat. I truly, truly appreciate you guys as we are getting set forth for the War Games Advantage match. As we know, Sarah Andrews has been chosen by the core to represent none other than the core but who's representing absolution that's what we're about to find out right now who is this i ain't heard this music who's joining who's and from chicago Illinois, oh my god Caitlin Morgan. it looks like absolution got themselves another family member joining for those who don't know who this is this is Caitlin Morgan the bad girl Barbie a veteran here in RSW and she is joined the fray to help out her sister Maggie Morgan and in absolution this is kind of huge here so now we know it's Caitlin Morgan gonna be joining War Games with Absolution and NXT. Thank you so much for being my number one in the chat. I truly, truly appreciate you as always. Always showing your support, especially towards the core. I know that for a fact. But this is interesting. Caitlin Morgan joining the side of Absolution. That is huge. And also pretty good for a War Games Advantage match. Now, here's the thing. We know the core has all the members. We know it, but we never figured out who was the final member. We know who's going to be in War Games. We know it's going to be Nikita Saban. We know it's going to be Maggie Morgan. We know it's going to be Violet Parker Mag. And now we know. I guess now we made it official. It's going to be Kaylin Morgan joining War Games. I mean, that is Absolution's call. It's up to them, but this is a War Games Advantage match. And a beautiful back suplex by Sarah Andrews. Sarah Andrews, one hell of a superstar, got in the ring over Ivy Gutierrez back on. Back at the UK edition. No, in Tokyo. In Tokyo. My fault, guys. And a beautiful Saido suplex. And guys, give me one second. I'm going to share this with the people. Let them know I'm live. And yes, I know I'm streaming early in the morning. But hey, I got work early. So I got work at like 7 p.m. So I'm not going to have time to like stream. <laughs> and plus, I just got in a new car as well. So <laughs> but yes, as Kayla Morgan makes her return. And oh, beautiful big boot. And remember, whoever wins gets the advantage for RSW War Games coming in London at Money in a Bank. And also, let's not forget, RSW oh, Turbo will be coming. And what is up, Ill Skills, you little booger? <laughs> yes, I know I'm streaming like in the early stages. That's because I got work. I got work early, so. <laughs> and also, I do got some news in regarding to the King and Queen of the Ring tournament, as I will say that after this matchup. And also, the final spot for Money in the Bank will be confirmed on who is it gonna be. And a beautiful forearm by Sarah Andrews. Guys, this is for the advantage of War Games. What a dude, King Live JD. Welcome, welcome. And JD, I'm actually glad you're here. 
as I do have some news in regardings. It might be towards you, you never know. And I can't believe I'm saying it may go to skills. I never thought I'd say it would go to skills. Oh, went for the super kick, but it really had a little effect. Really a little effect. Morning, Bucky. Welcome, welcome. And, oh, nice move there by Kevin Morgan. Is that going to be enough for the advantage for Absolution? And it's not. Hey, no, no. Don't be doing that. Don't be doing that, Skills. Look, Skills, come on. Don't be doing that. I'm commentating. Can you be target? Get, get, get skills, please. As I'm trying to do my job, I'm trying to do the job the best as I can. <laughs> skills like, oh God, they're cheating. They have landed pretty awkwardly on the on the leg. The Dino Caitlin was out due to an injury caused at the Nexus. And speaking of the Nexus, we haven't seen them in a long time. And guys, there is news regarding the King and King of the Ring tournament. So, you guys be on the lookout for that. Good. Have Tanya annoy you. Tanya, please annoy the shit out of skills, please. <laughs> I know. I, I'm bad. I'm, I'm, I'm so bad for that. I mean, yes, Skills lost his US title, but he does have a rematch in his claws. And, yes, I got Tanya to be the boss. That referee, he just sniff at a count of eight. That get back in the ring, and Caitlyn beat the count early. And Caitlyn again, and oh, another end of fusion. Is that gonna be enough, Sarah? Maybe down into the cover. And Absolution is going to get the advantage of War Games thanks to Caitlyn Morgan. Here is your winner, Bad Girl Caitlyn Morgan. With the help of Caitlyn Morgan, now we know Absolution, they get the man advantage in War Games. Thanks to Caitlin Morgan. Congratulations to Caitlin Morgan. And also congratulations to Absolution. As Absolution, they got the advantage in war games. So, I know if I was Roxanne, I'd probably be crapping my pants right now. Yes, I'd probably be crapping my pants right now. Because now, we know that Absolution, they get the advantage in war games but we know Roxanne's gonna be in the main event to be taking on Kate Cameron Irons yes Cameron Irons is back after nailing an attack on Sarah last week now we do know on the next episode of Thunder Cameron Irons will be facing Ivy Gutierrez Mac Roxanne wants a piece of her so we're gonna get it and then in that battle royal, we will find out who will be the final entry in the women's money in the bank. And then we're in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. So I got a little bit of a Toronto treat. We got Natalia, Chelsea Green, Maurice, and Trish Stratus, my all-time. <laughs> but coming up next, we got ourselves 1v1 action, Maggie Morgan. After they laid out the warning, they said they was coming back with a vengeance. And they are back. And now we know Absolution got the, the man advantage on the core. Oh, man. It's going to be hell on fire and Bridgestone. So that got to feel good for the winner takes all. For Maggie Morgan, Nikita Saban, Violet Parker, as well as their mystery partner, who I think is Caitlyn Morgan. Like, Absolution got to confirm it. So, I'm being told from Ivy that they will confirm it at Money in the Bank. So, we don't know. But we do know Caitlyn Morgan is a friend of Absolution and the sister of Maggie Morgan. 
And Skills, thank you so much for watching the three stream streak. I truly appreciate it. Although you piss me off sometimes, but I do, I do appreciate you. But coming up next, Maggie Morgan of Absolution is taking on Tiffany Stratton. And Tiffany, if I was you, I would just run. Let's get it! I'm sorry to Tiffany Stratton fans. Although I love Tiffany, but Tiffany might want to run. And you see the lights dimming. All hell is breaking loose here. As this team know has now know that they got the advantage. And they said that they laid the warning. And they are back. And there you see. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making our way to the ring. Representing Absolution from Sin City. Maggie Morgan. There you see Ivy the leader. Who they say Ivy's the leader of Absolution alongside Maggie Morgan and Nikita Saban. They collectively known as Absolution. They're the sisterhood that the core wished that they had as quote unquote from Absolution. As Ivy. Ivy will be in action next week on Thunder to take on Cameron Irons. So I know she's going to be watching this. You didn't know this entrance is in the game? Yeah, this entrance is in the game. Yeah, Skills, if you unlock Bray Wyatt, the entrance is in there. It's the trio entrance. What is up, Ill Skills? Welcome, welcome. I mean, why did I say Skills? Oh, God. Travel, welcome, welcome. And I'm glad you're here because you know main event on Glow is going to be Cameron Irons taking on Roxanne Gutierrez and they will see Absolution. And I know, I know people are going to say what time is it? And a lot of people are going to say it may be tippy time, but I don't think it's tippy time. I feel sorry for Tiffany Stratton here tonight. And from Prior Lake, Minnesota, Tiffany Stratton. I don't know, like, I haven't seen Dallas in a while, like. I haven't seen Dallas in a minute in... Lord Jesus, here we go again with this. But yes, as it'll still say, it's a flash warning. But Tiffany Stratton, looking to go one-on-one -on -one in action against Maggie Morgan, but this may not be the case here. As that woman right there, Maggie Morgan. Maggie Morgan, multi-time tag team champion. Alongside Dallas Cole as well. And, ooh, already with a new strike. But yeah, I don't know what's up. Where is Dallas? Like, Dallas hasn't been seen in a while. A nice kick right there by Maggie Morgan and a beautiful springboard moonsault. I don't know. If I was if I was the court, this would be this would be an absolute mugging right about now. Absolution, they laid the warning out to the core saying that they was coming back with a vengeance. And by God, they mean it. They really are coming back with a vengeance. Maggie Morgan's been on the attack of Tiffany Stratton. Guys, give me one second. Let me put my dashboard up. As 
Tiffany Stratton going for a suplex. And it looks like no. Maggie Morgan not going to get hit with a suplex. Referee at eight. And they beat the count. Wait, I'm not that evil. I'm not that evil. It looks like Maggie Morgan's looking to go high. Listen, ooh, wrecking ball drop kick. Maggie Morgan's just been on the attack and on the attack ever since. Maggie laid out the one in the rock sand, saying that the core was gonna be demolished. Now, thanks to Stephanie McMahon, we do know that at Money in the Bank, it will be a winner takes all, meaning the RSW Women's International, the RSW Women's Hardcore, and the Women's Tag Team Championships will be on the line. How hard is it to make a stand line? It is real hard. Like, you gotta, you gotta really, like, put time and effort into this, like, you gotta figure out what matches you're gonna do, what rivalries you gotta have planned. Like, if for those who are Ethan on this, I'm pretty sure Travel can tell you. Like, storylines, it's it's real hard. You just gotta like have the right people and just figure out what you're gonna do. It's absolution in the core. Absolution in the core. This was a tough one. If I was like. How am I going to pull this off, especially have Roxanne as a villain? And, oh, wait a minute, into the cover, hooking a leg, Maggie Morgan, shoulders down, and no. But yeah, I was trying to figure out how am I going to make Roxanne versus Ivy to finally come to fruition here in RSW. Like, I teased it. I teased it in 23, but I didn't really fully come up with it. Like, but as soon as, like, with the who attacked Maggie, blah, blah, blah. I made it finally happen with Roxanne uh, becoming a leader of her own faction. And with Travel giving leadership to Roxanne, it was like perfect fruition. It finally came to play. I was like, just what I needed. So, yeah, it goes way back to 23. And Maggie Morgan connects with a... Twist the neck breaker into the cover, hook at 11. You could, oh, ooh. I thought that was it right there. I was about to say all she wrote for Tiffany Stratton. And Maggie Morgan just staying on the attack like always. Maggie Morgan is a former RSW Women's Tag Team Champion. Can you join a faction? Hell no. No. If you, if I see you in a faction, I will legit throw up and puke. I'm posting. <laughs> Guys, I do this to scales all the time. And into the cover, Tiffany Stratton may be out after that nick. And she is. Damn. Mm-mm-mm. Maggie Morgan getting the victory over Tiffany Stratton. And you know Nikita Saban and Ivy, they're happy as hell to say that they are back. They laid the warning, and the warning may have just come to fruition. Maggie, Nikita, and Ivy, they're going to celebrate the night. But if I was them, I would get the celebration to cut short. And God damn it, my phone is doing it again. Guys, I can't see the comments because my phone is freaking glitching yet again. So it is time. I got to get a damn leaf on. But we're going to get to the core a little bit later because we do know in the main event, Cameron Irons makes her return to take on Roxanne Gutierrez. But... We are going to give ourselves, our Canadian fans, a little bit of a treat as four women from Canada are going to give themselves a little bit of a treat for them. It's going to be Fatal 4-Way Extreme Rules. We got Maurice from Montreal. 
We got Natalia and Trish, both from Toronto. Oh, no. Maurice is from Montreal. Uh, Natalia is from Calgary. Uh, Chelsea Green from Victoria, British Columbia. And then Trish is from Toronto. So I'm looking forward to this fatal four way as I'm trying my best to get the damn comments up. As the match is underway and it's right now. Let me know who you guys got in the fatal four match and who's your favorite Canadian women's wrestler in this match. Let me know. As entering the ring first comes the boat and Natalia. The following is a fatal four-way extreme rules match. Make your way to the ring from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Natalia. Natalia, known as the Boat, former two-time RSW Women's Champion here in RSW, as she's been. Dealing with a lot of stuff in NXT and helping alongside Carmen Petrovich as they got the win over Lola Vice and Shayna Baszler last week on NXT. As Natalia looks to make her mark here back in RSW. And as much as this woman annoys me and annoys the shit out of me. I can't hate on her style and her ability in the ring. I can't ignore that. And her opponents, first, from Victoria, British Columbia, Canada, Chelsea Green! As we know, Chelsea Green, former women's tag team champion, alongside Piper Niven, in the first episode of Glow, she did get, her and Piper did get the victory. As we know, Chelsea Green can be called a you-know-what. But I'm not going to say it because I don't want Matt Cardona to come at me and sue me. Well, why am I saying Matt Cardona? Because he's not even in this match. <laughs> but yes, yeah, Chelsea Green from British Columbia. And we got another one representing Canada. All those who From Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Maurice! Maurice, the wife of the Miz. As we know, we haven't seen the Miz in a while. Hopefully, Miz is doing all right. But, however, Maurice is here to presence to cherish the RSW Canada crowd. Oh, wait, never mind. I see the Miz in the crowd. Hey, what up, Miz? As Maurice is already set forth, ready in action. As we still got one more Canadian superstar to represent. And... God, I missed that intro. But here comes Canada's own Trish... Stratus. And from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, Trish Stratus. If y'all don't know Trish Stratus, I'm going to be honest. You people been living under a goddamn rock. And I'm trying my best to get my phone to freaking work, but it's being a complete jack in the you know what. But oh yeah. How did y'all feel about uh, Double and Nothing for those who watched it? As I was like, oh shit. But yeah, Double and Nothing, I did watch it. I'm kind of pissed that uh, freaking Willow lost. I was kind of hoping freaking um, Willow would retain, but I guess they really want Mercedes to be champion. But it's kind of disappointing. And for those who don't know, yes, I do love Mercedes, but I didn't think she needed a title right about now. But I was wrong. So, as we see Natalia going after Maurice, 
And then we see Trish going after Chelsea Green. And Trish going into the cover. Hook it away and no. Just an instant kick out of one. Oh yes, my phone is my phone is freaking cursed. I don't know what skills did to it. Skills, I think you cursed my phone. Ever since your ass showed up, I think you cursed my phone. That's why I'm that's why it's not cooperating. Now we see Trish going up in the reason. Uh-oh. Chelsea got the hockey stick. Shades of the Toronto Maple Leafs. And nope, it doesn't come into full fruition. <laughs> I wish I would look at the comments right now because, oh my god. I bet Skills is probably fuming right about now. And to those who are new or those who are joining, welcome, welcome, and truly, as this is my E-Fed Revolution Stampede Wrestling, where you build your own legacy. As right now, we are in the mix of glow, as we are in the International Tour in Toronto, the home of Trish Stratus, of course. But these four Canadian ladies are in the Elimination Battle Royal. Well, not really Battle Royal, but Fatal Four Way. To figure out who's the best Canadian women's wrestler. But everybody's gonna say Trish is one question, so I won't be surprised if that's a Trish. Chelsea Green. This nice elbow drop by Chelsea. And Marie's got a stop sign. And that told Trish to stop. Literally. Talia, beautiful chop there from Chelsea as Trish and Maurice are going at it. And Chelsea, really beautiful face plus neck breaker. And now Chelsea is taking it. Oh, Chelsea trying to go for a knee, but Natalia. And there's Maddie by nature from Natalia. And is that going to be enough to eliminate Chelsea Green? Did Trish just grab a guitar and just, yep, she got the guitar and literally just took out Maurice with it. And now Chelsea Green trying to get back the advantage. But Natalia saying, I don't know it. Uh oh. Uh oh. This is Canada's favorite submission, a sharpshooter. It's locked in! But wait a minute. Natalia just let go of the sharpshooter. That is not of Natalia. And Natalia just wants to do more damage to Chelsea. God damn. Really just throwing down. Going down the trash can. Oh my god. Trish got the bladder bridged up. Who knew Canadian wrestlers would be so violent? It oh, good Lord Jesus. Natty, Natty, don't do it. Natty, Natty. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Natalia with a huge shirt on Serge Maurice through the water in a stratisfaction by Trish. Oh my god, Trish, Trish, what? what in the blue hell? What in the blue hell are you doing? Now there's a fiery table. Guys, I do not condone this. I do not. Like, there's a fiery table that Trish just set up. Holy smokes. Like, guys. This is RSW. <laughs> and Chelsea Green. Chelsea Green. Come on in the strike. God almighty. Yeah, Tr Trish may be out. Trish may be out. And so far, there no, there have been no eliminations. And now Natalia getting hit with that ladder. And so is Chelsea. Now Trish is back into the lane. But 
Natalia sends Chelsea back into the ring too. And, ooh, trash can connects it. Oh, oh, Chelsea and Swiss, they were looking for moves, but it doesn't connect. Guys, give me one second. Give me one second to look at these comments. What is up, Tug? Uh, yes, I agree. Willow should have won. I agree on that. Oh, wow. Chelsea Green been eliminated. Willow was kicking Mercedes ass the entire match. It surprised me. Yeah, it surprised me too because I was like, why did they give him... Look, I love him. Everyone knows that Sasha Banks is like my favorite women's wrestler. But like... Dude, I love Mercedes, but come on, she shouldn't have won that championship in her first match. Like, I would have said give her, like, all in or, like, give her, like, all in. Then I would have said, yeah, give her the title, but, dude, come on. Like, all due respect to Mercedes, but, no. She shouldn't have won. Now, look at this, Natalya and Trish going at it, and we know Maurice, she's going to stay back and let it go. But then again, it was obvious Chris Statlander was going to jump. Yeah, I would have said give Chris Statlander and Willow, give Chris Statlander and Willow a chance to fight for the title. Not Mercedes winning. You're torn on this one because those three are your favorites. Well, that's why I gave Canada a little bit of a treat. You can tell who MJF really likes himself. But I'm glad MJF is back because MJF and Adam Cole is fucked up. Adam Cole fucked. I'm sorry. <laughs> Like, I look, oh my god, Natalia with a ladder now. I'm surprised nobody went to that table that Trish lit up. Like, somebody's gotta go through that table one way or another. Like, get the ladder out of there. But yeah, I was actually glad MJF came back. Adam Cole, you're screwed. Because now MJF gonna whoop his ass. MJF's gonna whoop the shit out of, uh, freaking. Oh yeah, I well I did see uh Maddie I did see that uh clip. I did watch MJF's returning. Oh my god, that was that was hella crazy. Right now Natalia on the steel chair. I mean could the roles be reversed? Trish, Trish, I know, I know you have your fish head, never mind. Somebody's got to get that ladder out the way. Trish is back in the ring. Maurice, she idiot. Okay, I was about to say. Get back in the damn ring and fight. I'm surprised Maurice has held on this strong. Oh, man. I'm surprised Maurice has been able to stay this strong in this matchup. And, oh, Trish with a beautiful combination. Oh, no. He's got the guitar. What's up, Chelsea? I should have told you to watch out. Yeah, that was like that was like a shot toward Adam Cole, and I don't know if that was a shot toward anyone who goes to WWE. I don't know if that was a shot, but oh hey, okay, I'm glad somebody said it. This shot is beautiful clothesline. Yeah, I'm still shocked Maurice is still in it. Like, I thought Maurice would be the first one out in this match. But, I was dead wrong. Like, Maurice is holding out. This is a shocker. Like, I'm surprised. And a shoulder tackle by Maurice. I mean, shoulder tackle by Natalia. 
And also, uh, I don't know what happened. Uh oh. Strange faction. And I think it may be bye bye Natalia. Yep. Bye bye Natalia. Natalia eliminated. Yeah, it looks like Trish got this in the bag. I think Stratus Faction in Toronto may be guaranteed. Stratus Faction, and you can count up to 3 to 20. It's all. What? What? It's not a. Wait, wait, wait. It's not over? Like, who told me I'm high? Oh, wait, maybe not. It's over. How is Maurice still in this? Oh yeah, Swerve, Swerve I like. I, I fuck with Swerve. Swerve is one of my favorites. If y'all don't think like Swerve is not a good world champion and not a good wrestler, y'all are seriously mistaken. Y'all living under a goddamn rock. Like Swerve is hella good. And I am still shocked that Maurice is freaking still in this. Like, how? Well, let's not forget, I do got the difficulty on Legend, so anything could possibly happen. Like, that, that, that probably may be why. But Chelsea Green eliminated, Natalia eliminated, like... I knew Trish was gonna be the final two, but... I didn't expect freaking... Maurice to be in the final two. If, if Maurice wins this thing, holy smokes. Oh yeah, oh yeah, CJ didn't even knew that we won the tag team titles, man. Yep, we did win the tag team titles. For those who don't watch uh, Miss T's uh, first episode of Fantasy World Wrestling, it's also up on the YouTube. Go check it out. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Is anyone going to do something? Like, go to the flame and table, damn it! I would just control it, but no, I'm not going to do that. Damn. I was expecting Tanya, but damn it, I was dead wrong. I was expecting your girl Tanya. Oh no. I swear to God, if Maurice wins this, I swear to God, there's no freaking way. No way. Ooh, that was close. That was close. Maurice almost legit just ended it. Oh, God damn! Talk about a chip kick. How about a TKO? A French TKO and oh my lord. Oh my lord. There's no freaking way. The How? How? Bro. <laughs> What the fuck, bro? Here's your winner, Maurice. Dude. Dude. Fucking Maurice just won the Fatal 4-Way match. I Maurice was the last person I expected to win. But god damn it, I gotta give credit where credit is fucking due. It wasn't Italian. I was expecting Trish to take it, but damn. Maurice got the win. Oh, and I got to go back real quick. I got to go back, guys, because I got to tell you some news in regarding to RSW. Now, as you guys know, um, my next e my ex my next PLE is going to be Money in the Bank, but I'm going to switch it up because I may put another PLE here. But it's not going to be like money in the bank. But it's going to be regarding. Excuse me. To king and queen of the ring. So I decided. That I'm going to do a tournament. For the king and queen of the ring tournament. Now as you guys know. JD McDonough is the current king. And Gigi Dolan is the current queen. So pretty much the winner is going to face 
off and that is battling for that in the tournament for the king of the ring championship as you can see jd mcdonough is the current king now i'm not going to give them the titles yet because they got to win it they got to win the whole tournament to become back to back but yet yeah, this is the rsw king of the ring championship that i created a little while back and then also we know Gigi Dolan is the current queen and that is the president and queen of the ring championship let me know what you guys think of the titles do y'all love them or hate them yay or nay let me know what you guys think but this is the queen of the ring championship and there will be a tournament to determine who will become king of the ring or queen of the ring now as we know as I said Gigi Dolan and JD McDonough they are the current king and queen and they will automatically be in a tournament oh lord jesus don't get too ahead of yourselves because there will be some qualifying matches for king of the ring tournament but we're going to get to that next time but coming up next we got ourselves 10 women who are looking to get the final spot in the money in the bank ladder match now hold up stupid that's it and that's an easy dub i don't know i wouldn't be surprised if there'd be some shocks and awes but i'm gonna tell you the women that are already in the women's money in the bank ladder match the women that are already in it's Nikita Lyons, Bianca Belair, Michin Mia Yim, Ruth Wilcox, Lucia Cameron, Liv Morgan, and Charlotte Flair. Those are the seven that are currently in the Women's Money in a Bank match right now as we speak. But there's one more spot left to be filled. As you can see, Tiffany will be coming back to get the final spot. As hopefully she makes it through but we got also Raquel Rodriguez JC Jane Oscar Vanessa legend and yes the return of Rhea bloody Ripley who was the wrestler I dislike you you <laughs> I'm just kidding Let's set it down to my room. The for the following contest is the Royal Rumble match. Now, the two superstars that drew number one and number two will start in the ring at the same time. Other superstars will join in in the order that they drew. This will continue until all ten superstars have entered the ring. Eliminations will occur when you are thrown over the top rope with both feet landing on the floor. The last superstar in the ring will be declared the Royal Rumble winner. As we await, who's number one? Who is it? Who's number one? <laughs> you had the skills. You said Vanessa was going to win. Uh, I think Vanessa, you, you screwed her. First from Brooklyn, New York. Yeah, skills. Learn to keep your mouth shut, especially when it comes to doing picks. Cause your pick now is number one. <laughs> you shouldn't have said Vanessa was an easy dub. You shouldn't have said it, cause now you just screwed her. Thanks a lot, skills. I'm gonna tell Drip about that. You just screwed her. But I don't know. She might pull it off. There's only 10 superstars in the match. There's only 10 superstars in the match. So she could pull it off. I'm not saying she's going to win. But I think it's, I'm not saying it's impossible. Hopefully number two isn't impossible. As who is entry number two in this. Oh. Okay, I'm actually liking this bet match up here. And she is out of control. And the team kick leader, Dakota Kai. 
Introducing the individual who drew number two, representing Damage Control from Auckland, New Zealand, Dakota Kai. Dakota Kai, former RSW Women's Tag Team Champion here, alongside with EO Sky. Now, don't forget, we also know EO Sky is looking to compete for the Women's Money in the Bank ladder match. As think EO does have the experience, and she's won one. So hopefully, Dakota Kai looks to become the woman to enter the Money in the Bank. But she's got to have a long way to go. Unless I feel sorry for skills, because skills you literally just screwed your pick. And that's a legend. Got to find the best. Oh, beautiful knee strike by Dakota. And Vanessa. And out the way quick. And a choke slam backbreaker. A team kick as we await entry number three in this battle royal. Who is it? Oh, this is going to be good. Here comes JC Jane. JC Jane entering and hopefully to enter Money in a Bank. Now, as we know, JC Jane, JC Jane was a former member of Toxic Attraction alongside Mandy Rose and Gigi Dolan. JC Jane hasn't had the much luck like Gigi and Mandy has. In my opinion, I feel like JC's underrated. The Cody Kai is sent over the top row, but stays alive. Oh no. I would feel sorry for the first three because now Piper Niven, the biggest superstar in this match, is now in mid ring. And this may not be good for anyone. This may not be good for anyone who's standing in Piper Niven's way. As we do know the final, we do know the final spot is on the line. Vanessa, kind of desperate. Take down Piper, but Piper, she may be too, she may be too powerful. But we do know Dakota's gonna get some backup as it's halfway through, and here comes the genius set of Sky and Neo. Neo Sky, gonna have a little bit of, Dakota's got a little bit of backup, or maybe not. Maybe not! Wow. I was saying Dakota was gonna have some backup, but now that that totally is now out of the picture. Dakota Kai's gonna have to go at this alone. Eel Sky just got in and just got out. Or maybe not. Dakota's got a little bit of help. Cause here comes the Empress of tomorrow and Oscar. And oh no, I'm about to say not another quick elimination. Eel Sky. Back in the mix. That's kind of crazy. The fact that EO got eliminated quick. Oscar's now in the fray. We await entry number seven. Who is it? And here comes Raquel Rodriguez. Raquel Rodriguez, a former EPW Women's Champion. As we do know Raquel, she can match the strength ability of Piper Niven. As we know Raquel looking to enter the money in the bank alongside her best friend, Lady Morgan. And JC Jane almost got eliminated and stays alive. Entry number eight on her way. Comes Blair Davenport. Blair Davenport entering at number eight. There goes Piper Niven. Piper Niven eliminated by the Empress of tomorrow and Oscar. As I believe we got a little bit of two more entrances, either Tiffany Stratton or Rhea Ripley. I would feel sorry for anyone in Rhea Ripley's way. Hey guys, give me one second, I got a phone call.
sorry guys, I'm back. <laughs> had to take a phone call from UC GC Jay. Getting eliminated by Dakota Kai and Rio Ripley. I mean, Vanessa's still hanging on. That's a plus. I gotta admit, skills you may not screw uh, Vanessa this time. As we see Raquel Rodriguez, Raquel Gonzalez. Why did I say Raquel Rodriguez? I said Raquel Gonzalez. Uh oh. Yep. It may be Sayonara to Vanessa. Yes, it is. Yes, yeah, still, you shouldn't have said, uh... I'm gonna be honest, Scales is shit. You should always learn to keep your mouth shut about your picks. But as we know, Oscar got eliminated, it, but so may be Dakota Kai. No, I didn't see it. I did see the trailer. Um, I did see the trailer with uh, Deadpool and Wolverine. I'm gonna see that movie. I'm gonna like it. Yeah, it scares your pick is. You have to fight Jeff for the multiple times that you said that your picks were gonna win, but apparently not. This is automatic rising. I swear to God, if we get eliminated, bro, I'm gonna cry. I mean, who wouldn't? Who? Anyone would. London would love to see Mommy Rhea Ripley back in action, back at home. I mean. I know some people will see Tiffany Stratton. I mean, Tiffany could bounce back as we're down to the final five. Larry Davenport, Leo Ripley, Raquel Gonzalez, Oscar, and Tiffany Stratton all fighting for the final spot of money in the bank of eight and five. I didn't see how bad that was with that straight kick. Nice bomb there by the Emperor tomorrow. We know Oscar. Oh, beautiful kick there. Insomnia got hat. God damn. This is why I don't. This is why I don't do like games like that. Like, damn, beautiful head button. Wow. Yep. Yeah, it may not. Yeah, London's not gonna have no tippy time. London's not gonna have tippy time and boy. Oh no! Let's go in it. Saw Furiosa the other day. Yeah, I didn't see it yet. I, I heard it was pretty good, so I might check it out. I know NXT Ben is real upset about that. Damn it all to hell. But yes, we're down to the final four. We're down to Rhea, we're down to Raquel. Look at that. Rhea Ripley, beautiful move there. Oh, kick. Right on the leg. Now, we do know Rhea Ripley is injured in WWE because of the arm and. Hold on, guys, I got another call. People keep calling me. <laughs> but as we saw, Blair Davenport got a limit in it. We're down to three. I don't know. I think mean, I think it may be Empress, uh, Big Mommy Cool, or just Mommy. You never know. I would love to see this. And as we see, we're looking kicking out Raquel. And Oscar may be in deep trouble. If three superstars ring. Oh, never mind. It may be two. If Oscar gets eliminated, we might as well say bye-bye to the Empress. 
And that's a no. Uh-oh. Ooh! Nice move there by Raquel. Rhea. Getting back into the corner, which is pretty smart. And Asuka may be in trouble here. Asuka may be eliminated. Asuka... No, Asuka stays alive. Right now, oh, beautiful kick by Oscar. Kick combination. And I think Raquel may be gone and oh no. Oscar trying her best to stay alive, guys. Like, that's crazy. Wow, you saying come on, Oscar. I never I thought you would go for Rhea. And Raquel. Total World Slam, but Raquel almost, Raquel legit just getting back up. Yeah, and see, I really thought you would go for real. I mean, I wouldn't mind, oh no. No, Oscar, you better not. Don't do this to me. Oh, you son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. You ain't on Multiverses tomorrow. I have played Multiverses. I have. Especially with Joker. Oh, dude, I'm so mad. Well, I guess we won't have Mommy coming back. Beautiful bomb there by Raquel. If we're not going to have Mommy and Nora Empress, I'm okay with Big Mommy cool. And Raquel gets the final spot at Money in the Bank. And she's going to meet her tag team partner. Here is your winner. Raquel Rodriguez gets the final spot for Money in the Bank. And she may right all her wrongs here at RSW. Congratulations to Raquel as she gets the final spot as it is official. The Money in the Bank is now filled. As here are your participants. Liv Morgan, Lucia Cameron, Ruth Wilcox, Nikita Lyons, Bianca Belair, Michin Mia Yim, Raquel Rodriguez, I mean Raquel Gonzalez, god damn it, I don't know, and Charlotte Flair, final spot has been filled, congratulations, as we're going to take a look at the recap before we head into the main event, as we already know that thanks to Caitlin Morgan, Absolution, Got the one man, got the woman advantage for War Games. So, Absolution, they's riding pretty high. As well as Maggie Morgan getting a big win over Tiffany Stratton on her return. And then we know that Maurice shockingly pulled a win on the best Canadian showcase. And then we know Raquel Rodriguez gets the final spot. And why don't I say Raquel Rodriguez? I'm thinking Gonzalez every time. <laughs> but Raquel gets the final spot in the Money in the Bank ladder match. But now, for those who don't haven't been a part of my EFET or haven't watched it, I advise y'all to please turn y'all headphones down. Because, guys, you should already know what time it is. <clears throat> The afternoon, it's not evening, guys, <laughs> as Cameron Irons makes her return to RSW, and god damn it, my phone is cursed yet again. It keeps doing it, guys, like, it, it's time. It's time to get rid of my phone. Like, I gotta get a new one. But as we know, Cameron Irons will be facing Ivy and Dallas in a 30-woman Iron uh, Iron Woman match thanks to Stephanie McMahon's call as Cameron Irons returns to action but Roxanne she does not like that idea Roxanne does not like that 
it's going to be a winner take all. And we know Roxanne's got to be crapping her pants right now because we got to upload a new Cameron Irons. Well, we'll find out what happens, but it's main event time, and it's right now. And thank you to the people who are joining me and watching from the afternoon, taking a Memorial Day weekend, wherever how you spend it, spend it how you want to. Because here it comes. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making our way to the ring from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Cameron as we know, Toronto just became Steel City, and yes, she made her return. And as we know, Cameron will be getting the opportunity, getting her rematch for the R7 Women's Championship against none other than Dallas King. But Ivy Gutierrez is also going to be in the mix too. But we do know Cameron and Ivy will be battling 1v1, as she told us earlier. Between me and Ivy, it's nothing but respect, but she's in my way between her and the RSW Women's Championship. But before she deals with Ivy, she's got to deal with her daughter. And that is the leader, the rock star. And there you see Roxanne, who's not a happy, happy camper right now. Representing the core from Rio Grande Valley, Texas, one half of the Ring Stampede Wrestling Women's Tag Team Champions, the villain Roxanne Gutierrez. Matt. And Squig, thank you so much for the raid. I truly, truly, truly appreciate you. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in, Raiders, to those who are new to my stream. I'm truly OG1K as this is my Ether Revolution Stampede Wrestling where you build your own legacy. And this, you're just in the mix of our main event here. As we do know, Cameron Irons made a return and she's going to battle for the RSW Women's Championship in London at Money in the Bank. But as we know, Roxanne, not a happy camper. As Roxanne will be fighting in war games. But now we know that the core is not going to have the advantage. The core doesn't have the main advantage at war games thanks to Caitlin Morgan. So as we know, Money in the Bank is going to be Roxanne, Angel, Bree, and Sarah. Oh! I think it's all that pent up frustration that Cameron built that all these, all those times that the core was taken over. I don't know. We can see the core fall for our very, see the core no longer in control. Well, I mean, the core doesn't have the control. I mean, Stephanie McMahon is in control of the women's division. And a beautiful moonsault there. In case you guys don't know, uh, yes, that we do know that War Games is going to be, ooh, handspring kick, Roxanne the Current, Riot Girl Wrestling, RGW, Rising Stars Champion, as well as one half of the Tag Team Champions alongside Sarah Andrews, the Cameron Irons, a former RSW Women's Champion, and as well as the current and longest reigning EPW Women's Champion. And I don't know if Travel is because I know it's his effect, it's his control, I know what he does. But Travel, have you ever thought of like not controlling your creative superstars and seeing how storylines go? I know it's your ether, but I just wanted to give that ever you ever had a thought of that. Cause ever since I did that, I was like, you know what, this may work. I can do well with these storylines and see how they play out. But it's your Ethan. I'm not saying we do the same thing, but. You don't control Cameron? Okay. I I just wanted to ask, like, because before, like, I've always controlled uh, Ivy and freaking uh, 
Marcus away in the end of the cover. Hook it a leg. You only control, you only do great for the current storyline I'm doing. Mm. Okay. But I was saying, if you, have you ever thought of not c controlling your character specifically? Like, I know you got a storyline, but have you ever thought of, like, not controlling your character? Uh, what is up, Austin Andrew? Welcome, welcome. And, uh-oh, Cameron with the Olympic swing! Olympic slam! Is that gonna be another? No. End of the cover. Ooh, Roxanne almost stole it. I was looking at the question. He's ready to be on his own. I don't know. Dude, I did that from the start of 23 and already my character's done well on his own. Like I'm I'm not I'm not throwing no shade on him, but like I get it, it's your character, you're doing the storyline, I totally get it. Like I've I've like let go of the training wheels like since 2K23. I've let go of that since 23. Beautiful tiltable slam. Is that gonna be enough for Roxanne into the cover? No, Kim and I is kicking out at two. Thanks, guys, this is our main event, and don't forget, the tour does not end here as we will have RSW Turbo live in London, England. And of course, we do know that Miles Logan defends the World Heavyweight Championship against Marcus Mack with AJ Wolf cashing? I don't know. Only time will tell. Are you still working on Natalia and Miss T Women's Championship storyline? Yeah, I've been so focused on like the women's rivalries. I haven't been too focused on the men's rivalries. The only ones I've been focused on was like Roxanne and Ivy. I pulled the strings from like a year. Like it's been a year since I actually thought of it going to fruition. Like, they gotta actually, like, waited for the right time to do it. And time progressed throughout. And don't forget, Travel, you gotta get the, uh, oh yeah, Travel, you gotta get updated versions of me and Jacob. Cause, dude, I don't know why you still got my old gear. Like, that, that gotta go. Oh, wait a minute, into the cover, hook of the leg, shoulders down, and Cameron almost got the win over Roxanne, the leader. And right now, Cameron looking to steal one again, and another Olympic slam! Another Olympic slam! Welcome back, Cameron Irvin! No, or oh, maybe not. I mean, right now, Core is not doing well here on Glow. Now, I know what y'all thinking. Did I put championships on the line for Glow? No. I decided not to do that because I'm doing the winner takes all for, uh... No. So, still, I swear to God, if you screw my character over with some bullshit, I'm kicking your ass. If I have to face you, if I have to face any person from the skill family, I swear to God, I will have Tanya fire you on the spot. Because you're evil on your stream. You're evil on your stream, damn it. Guys, this, if y'all don't, if y'all don't know, this is what skills and I do. Right? Bullshit, you are evil. You're freaking evil. And Asian Smith at the count of six. Roxanne already back into the ring. John, John who? John who? Who who the hell is John? Skills, you gotta be more specific on what John you're talking about. The Cameron Irons. Yeah, no. Skills, no. 
Man, no, I'm not tuning in. I'm not finding your son. Hey, pull me out of ASW, because I'm not joining a bull crap. I'm not finding your damn son. Hey, Cameron Irons. Irons with the rolling iron. Rolling iron curtain into the cover. Roxanne is down for the count. Iron curtain, okay. Big win for Cameron Irons, and welcome back. Here is your winner, Cameron Irons. As of glow right now, RSW, RSW glow for Cameron. Got the big win, but for the night, the core, not a good night for the core. And we know it's Cameron Irons ready to become a two-time RSW Women's Champion. We'll find out at Money in the Bank. You want to run something by me? Okay. Okay, that's no problem. Okay, now guys, I do know I did say I was going to do Turbo. But, um, I do got work. I do got work, like early so like I'm gonna have to wait until next time but yes as we do know let's take a look at the news oh Tiffany Stratton injured that's not good but yes Turbo is gonna be live in London England and of course give me one second y'all I would make that match happen but I'm gonna wait I'm gonna wait for that match as Marcus Mack will battle Miles Logan. And it's going to be for the World Heavyweight Championship. The World Heavyweight Championship is on the line as Miles Logan will be taking on Marcus Mack. And then also... I was going to do the Women's International Championship, but I'm waiting until the right time. So, you know what? I'm not going to do the Tag Team Champs. So, you know what? Let's go a rematch here. Isaac Angel will take on... Hmm. You know what? Let's do the rematch. Because I was going to do this one at Money in a Bank. But. Yeah, let's do it. Hell. Let's do it. Oh, shoot. I forgot to put the title on the line. You said when is the pay-per-view? It's a. We got about another month, so. We got about a few weeks, so. We got time. We got enough time. But I do know that this, these are the two matches. The Intercontinental Championship on the line. Isaac Angel defending against Cameron Walker in a rematch. And then Miles Logan defending against Marcus Mack. This is his rematch. And the rest of the matches I got to figure out. The rest of the matches I got to freaking figure out. So... But that marks the end of RSW Glow, as I want to thank you guys so much for joining me on, on the show. I truly, truly appreciate it, as we're just getting started here in RSW, and Money in the Bank is going to be one hell of a night no one's ever going to forget. But as always, we're going to end it off with the raid. And I got to see who the hell can we raid. As I, I need suggestions. Who the heck can we raid? As so far, none of the people I see are on. Hmm. Yeah, who should we raid, guys? Let me know. Who do y'all think we should raid?
Give me one second. I'll try to figure out who. Have a safe day at work. I don't go to work until like later. You know what? I'm gonna go with somebody we do know and a good friend as well of Miss T. We are going to raid Miss Bariqua Honey as she is playing Fortnite, grinding into the new season. I gotta get on Fortnite as well, so I gotta get into the new season as well, guys. But thank you guys so much for joining as we're gonna show none other than Boricua Honey some love in the chat. As always, I'm truly OG1K. You guys have a good rest of your Memorial Day. Yeah, I agree. People don't be on this early, so screw it. So, Boricua is one of, my one of our friends from Miss T. So, we're going to go ahead and raid her. And I'll see you guys on the next stream on Turbo in London. Have a good Memorial Day. Deuces. Deuces.